Hello everyone. Today we will see the constraint in Katia assembly. So let us start with this mechanical design, assembly design. So I will again in the orientation, wave skip and drag. So here constraints are the uh, first one is the coincidence constraint, the second one is the contact constraint, next the contact constraint. Contact between the two parts. The offset constraint. So if you want any certain distance between the two parts, then you can use the offset constraint. Again, angle constraint. If you want the certain angle between the two faces or two parts, so you can use the angle constraint. And fifth component. So this is the constraint we use to make the make. The first part is a part centric, so you can use this fixed component here. Similarly, the second is the fixed together. Uh, basically, we use this fixed together in the mechanism and we make a assembly and then after we are making a mechanism that is a DMU digital mock up kinematic. So, in that, uh, we use this option. Then, another is a, a quick constraint. The three percent is basically used when it automatically recognizes the constraint in the toolbar. And again, uh, the flexible rigid subassembly. Then second is the change constraint, and the last one is the reuse pattern. So we will see these commands one by one. So now let us start. So we will see uh, one assembly here. Now we will create a one assembly of the bench wise so that we can use this constraint here. So to call this part again select on the existing component and then select on the product or you can again have an option here. We have to fix one part here. So just fix this component, just click on the fix component and then click on this. So again you, if you want to change this degree of freedom for this part, then you can change this from just go to this main body object and click on this component. So the NASA still show up here. There is no degree of freedom, that means all the degree of freedom, very six degree of freedom are not for this component. So now I will, I will call another part here. So just again click on this and click on this button to call. So now I will call this base plate here. So just click on the open. So now this is, this goes inside here. So just select, we can uh, manipulate this with the move option. So just select on this manipulation and then select this plate to manipulate. The direction you can see the direction from here also. So, if it's in the y direction you want to manipulate that, so just click on this, drag along y axis, and then select this place and then drag it on this side. So you can drag it again. If you want to drag it in the x direction, just click on this, place, select this place, and drag it on the x direction. If you want to rotate this, then if you want to rotate about the x, sorry, about the y direction, just click on this y direction and then select this part to rotate it in the y direction. So again, in this direction and then click on it. So now we provide the concept in the concept here. So we want to concept in the 
bottom of in the bottom of the main body And then 
Let another part, let it be part. Yes, so let me take 